And we're off to Jacksepticeye's tour. Hi everyone. We're in the I know this is a change of scenery from from the usual, but we're in a car going to Jacksepticeye's How Did We Get Here? Tour. I hope you can actually hear me. I was messing with the audio settings on this camera. Uh, so, might not be fantastic, but guess we'll find out in post. Might have to turn up some levels, turn down some levels. I don't know. But, yeah, we're on our way. So, enjoy! <laughs> I'm excited. And for, for anyone who knows me personally, know, and like you can vouch for me too, knows that Jacksepticeye is like my idol. I've I've watched him for such a long time. He's the one who actually got me into this whole YouTube sphere and everything. So I'm stoked. I'm ready for this show. By the way, a lot of this vlog is probably just going to be discussions with me and Josh just about all this, all this trip and uh, some of the show. Again, I know that Jacksepticeye, a lot of his show is uh, private. And he even says like in his own vlogs because I watch him regularly. He says that he doesn't want people uh, necessarily recording the show. So I don't know how much footage I'm actually gonna get of the show. I might not get any at all. Um, I'm gonna try to get some, but like I said, I don't even know if I'll be able to bring the camera into the theater. Uh, so we'll just have to play that by ear. You're not a, you're not a man of many words, are you? No, not really. <laughs> I see that. I'm just taking in the scenery. I mean, there's not much to see. You got a giant wall on this side and a road in front of us. There's not really much to see right now. I just, I oh, the camera, the camera's slowly moving toward me. See, it knows who it likes to see, Josh. It's all about me, don't you know? <laughs> oh, I think I moved it too much. I think you did. Don't take too much off of me. Oh, another thing. This guy's starting a channel of his own, which... You need to edit that footage, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> See, now that I'm putting it in my channel, people are going to be expecting you to actually edit stuff. So. I need to learn. I don't know how to. Well, you got to do it. You just got to sit down and do it. That's for anyone. For anyone who wants to start YouTube. And, like, I'll tell you kind of my personal story with YouTube. Um, I actually spent, like, two years watching people like Jacksepticeye and Markiplier and all these other big gamers. Um. And I just found myself so enveloped in it that one day I was, I think I was literally watching a Jacksepticeye video and it just dawned on me one day where I was like, you know, I watch all this stuff and I love YouTube so much, why don't I just do it myself? And so I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. And then I didn't do it for like four months because I didn't know how, I didn't think I was capable, and I was scared. And so... I don't know, I was like, oh, I'm just going to put this off, um, and I'll get around to it eventually. I really want to do it, uh, and like, I had the same fear that everyone else has, equipment. I don't have the equipment I need to do it, and all this other stuff. So I started investing in, in some stuff, but I didn't have a lot. So to start, I had my MacBook and a tiny little camcorder that uh, my parents are actually belongs to my parents. And I was like, all right, I mean, I got something, but let's just start. Let's just do it. And I woke up one morning after putting it off for so long, and I was like, I'm going to do it today. I'm going to record a video today. And I sat myself down, and I forced myself to record a video. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever it was. And looking back at it now, it sucks. It's terrible. It doesn't matter. It's the first video on this channel. It's the Slither.io video. Um, it's really, really bad. But, <laughs> but I forced myself to do it. And I sat myself down and I was like, all right, now I gotta edit this video. Never looked at an editing before, and I think this is the part that you're at right now. Yeah. Is you get behind <laughs> that editing I've software. I've done it before. Do I remember how I did it? No. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta you got put all your footage in and you basically learn how the software works. So you get into this recording software and there's so much that you don't know about it. And so, I think the first that first video took me like three or four days to edit simply because I had to learn the software. It took me forever to edit that video, trying to figure out how to put all the footage in, 
and all that other stuff, it was miserable. Trying to figure out how to put all that stuff in. Oh, I should probably shut the music off. But shh, hopefully you didn't hear all that. Cause it's the copyright. speaker's right beside it. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoopsies. But yeah, so it took me like four days to edit and I was like, all right, now I gotta upload all this. And it's, it's honestly just getting that first video out. If you can push yourself to make that first video, edit the first video and figure out the flow of what you need to do, you're set. And I think that's where you're at. You just gotta finish that first video. Mm -hmm. Once you finish that first video, you're set. And you can you can just hop on the train and start start doing stuff. So yeah, that's my experience. Oh, we gotta stop. Gotta stop now. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I just so I put you through the windshield. Whoopsies! Everyone just slammed on the brakes all at the same time. I'm trying to adjust the camera. <laughs> well. Time for time lapses. We'll see you. I don't know if we'll see you before we get to Durham or not. I don't know. But commence time lapse to Jacksepticeye Tour! Well, it seems as if we have made it to Durham. This place is actually really cool looking as we were driving in. I don't know, it looks looks really cool, so I don't know, I'm excited about it. Oh, this is weird walking down the street with a bunch of people. <laughs> Just holding a camera. A bunch of people. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a bunch of people. I don't know, it's really weird. I don't know, I'm excited for the show though. It'll be really cool. Art yep, here we are. Durham. Performing Arts Center. Um, excuse me. This is supposed to be Jacksepticeye. <laughs> Not Pink Floyd. I'm more interested in Jacksepticeye. Thank you very much. <laughs> SpongeBob. Hey, that wasn't very nice. Look at all the people. There's a lot of people here. I see a leprechaun. <laughs> so cool. I bet all these people are going to the very show too. Shiny. It's very bright outside. I'm so excited. Okay, see you on the other side. Bye. Happiness. Um, <laughs> hi, um, uh, why did it cut to me? What happened to the rest of the video? What? What are we going to do now? Do we, do we have a backup? Can we, can we get it rolling again? Oh God, um, okay, well, this wasn't supposed to happen, um, okay, hold on, look! What about this guy? Okay, how about this? 
If you come out from behind your screens, I'll come out from behind mine. Do you $482,000 it cost for that bit. <laughs> Very expensive. We couldn't show them though, it would have cost twice as much. What else can we do? Ooh, one of my favorite ones. Let's get, let's get real with the audience. Yes. Hey everyone. Hey. How's it going? Hey. I'm gonna read you some of my poetry now. I don't fucking write poetry. <laughs> what I write poetry about? Sandwiches? <laughs> what else can we do? Oh, how about a sexy pose? Oh boy, what a show. What a show. That man is crazy. Now, I did, as you can see, I tried to put some clips in. I don't even know if they're sal salvageable. I didn't bring my camera in on purpose. Um, I really wanted to respect the fact that Jacksepticeye uh, wanted no cameras at this event. So, I didn't take too much recording, but I did try to get the intro clip, which if I haven't shown already, here's the intro clip. And I got the, um, I got the picture clip where he actually told everyone that we could take out our cameras and take pictures, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not super energetic. It's actually like really late at night right now. I, ju I literally just got home from the event. I'm trying to kind of keep it down and not wake everyone up, but I don't know, it was so cool. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing, I actually got a shirt from the event, so it was cool. That was really cool. Um, I also got a poster from the event, and funny story about the poster, um, as, as we were sitting there, and I told myself I did not want to roll this thing up, but here's the poster. I got a sign, as you can see, a sign, like, right, I don't know if you can see it, right there. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. But there's a signature on there, if you can't see it. Um, I don't know, it's just really cool. Um, I've always been a fan of this guy. As I said earlier in the vlog, uh, Jacksepticeye is the man that I look up to and he's the one who made me actually get into YouTube entirely. Um, so he means a lot to me. And so to be able to actually see him come to our town and like all that stuff is was a pretty big deal for me. It was awesome. Um, if any of you get the chance to see him, absolutely. He's such a fantastic guy. And, uh, I don't know. He's just a wonderful person. Oh, about the poster, though. So, I got my poster, and I was like, alright, I'm going to keep this in great condition. Um, and it's funny, because someone, the person behind me actually, uh, spilled their drink. And it spilled all over my poster and all over, like, me. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not like I can actually change what happened. Um, and, to be honest, still looks fine to me, so I'm not complaining at all. So, oh, such a good event. Uh, let me put it a little bit in perspective. So, to begin the show, he started with the whole introduction, which you saw, um, with him on the screen and all that stuff. Um, and then after that, he did the photograph section, which I have already shown you. Um, but then at that point, that's where he kind of wanted us to shut off the cameras and all that stuff and make it more of an intimate moment, which I completely understand. And I'm, I'm actually very glad that he did that because it makes the show a lot more personable. And um, he just basically talked about his life. He talked about uh, stories about him being an altar boy. Um, he talked stories about uh, his mother bringing a Pokemon game from China. He talked about how he got his YouTube started, how he moved, how he got his nickname, 
all these different things about how he got where he was. Therefore, how did we get here? That's the name of the show. So it was very appropriate, a very appropriately named and very, a very cool show. And there were even moments, there were three moments where uh, people got to come on the stage. So uh, the first kid, Sam, got to come on the stage and play Pokemon. Uh, another kid, I forget his name, Jacob. His name was Jacob, because it's the same name as mine. Uh, got to come on stage and play Shadow of the Colossus. Um, and then there were three kids that got to come up and play Happy Wheels with Jack. So, phenomenal show, and that man is legendary. I know, I know I'm just gonna keep saying that, and like, I don't know, it's so late right now that like, I can't even really like, get all my thoughts together. But I kinda wanted to fill you guys in who aren't able to go to the show, kind of what happened. And so, I don't know, it was, it was super cool. It was a very cool, down-to-earth, genuine show. And the whole thing was about life and how uh, to tackle all these obstacles in life. Because it'll th throw boredom, fear, laziness, all these different things at you. And you just have to tackle them and get over them. And that was kind of his own personal stories on how he's done it and a kind of persuasion on how we can do those kind of things. So it was really cool. Very, very, very genuine show. And like I said, if any of you get the chance to meet him, an amazing guy. Oh, we also got to run into, uh, because we were in Durham, North Carolina. So the show was the 31st. It's actually, right now it's the 1st of April. It's actually Easter. So happy Easter, any of you celebrate Easter. Um, but it was the 31st in Durham, North Carolina. So it just so happened then we got to see Bob as well. Some of you might know him by his YouTube, uh, Moiskerm, but he was actually there. He walked in and it was funny because like everyone started cheering because it's like, ah, Bob! And like, I know Bob. Like I watched some of Bob's stuff and uh, I don't know, it's really cool. It was really cool seeing Bob there as well. So, and everyone's trying to get selfies with him as well. So it was really cool. Not only getting to see Jack, but to see Bob. And that's one of those things like you always see him behind the screen and I've always wanted to see them in person, but I never thought that I'd get the chance to. So it was very, very, very cool. And I'm sorry, my voice is, my voice is kind of gone too. I know I kind of mentioned that briefly before, but oh, such a good show. And I know I'm probably missing a million things and I'm gonna shut off the camera and I know I'm gonna want to say so, so, so much more about the show because I know I'm probably missing a million different things that I want to talk about. But oh, it was so, so good. Thanks, Jack, for such an amazing show, and I hope that you just keep doing what you're doing, because it is absolutely amazing. But for now, I think I'm going to cut off the vlog here. I'm not going to cut it off like I normally do, because I didn't start the vlog like I normally do. Um, I don't know. I just thought this was a very special experience, and I want it to be something special to me and something that I can document so that I can go back on and look at this great time, because it was very inspirational for me. Like this has made me want to do so much more with my channel because he has been such an inspiration for me and me starting YouTube. So I'm gonna cut it off here. I know I've been talking a lot. I, and again, I know I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful Easter and a wonderful week. And if you're not actually watching this on Easter, April Fools, cause it's also April Fools. So bye, it was fun.